A blessed day everyone! Welcome to another day of our class. It is another day of fun and learning. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in English 3, Quarter 4, Week 7. Milk Base Our lesson for today is about Irregularly Spelled Words. So kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Recognize and read some irregularly spelled words Hello kids! Today, we are going to study about irregularly spelled words. Irregular spelled words are words that contain letters that are not individually sounded or phonetically produced due to the combination of letter sound and other characteristics. Let us read the examples below. Eyes Earth Cake Wreath Mother Right Irregularly spelled words These words do not follow the phonics or spelling rules. They are phonetically irregular. They also require correct and fluent reading for readers to easily identify them. For examples, eight, straight, knuckle, wrap, right, kneel, Wednesday, again. And now for our first activity, let's do learning task one. Fill in the missing letters to complete the word being defined. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1. A person who lives nearby, normally in a house next door. What word is being defined by this? Fill in the missing letters. Correct! This word is... Neighbor Number 2. A tying of rope, string, cord, or other material. What word is being defined by this? Fill in the missing letters. Correct! This word is... Not. Number 3. A plastic, metal, or wood with a row of narrow teeth used for fixing the hair. What word is being defined by this? Fill in the missing letters. Correct! This word is... Comb. Number 4. A Filipino tradition which celebrates a young woman's 18th birthday. What word is being defined by this? Fill in the missing letters. Correct! This word is... Debut And number 5 The measurement from head to foot or top to bottom What word is being defined by this? Fill in the missing letters Correct! The answer is... Height for learning task 2, complete the analogy by supplying the irregularly spelled antonyms. Write your answers in your notebook. For example, short, the antonyms of short is tall. Number 1, black. What is the antonym of black? Correct, white. 
Number two, day. What is the antonym of day? Correct. Night. Number three, open. What is the antonym of open? Correct. Close. Number four, far. What is the antonym of far? Correct. Near. Number five, big. What is the antonym of big? Correct. Small. Next, for the learning task three, read the words below. If the word is irregularly spelled, put a check mark and X if not. Write your answers in your notebook. Number one, four. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Correct. It is check. Number two, bad. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Correct. Cross. Number three, enough. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Correct. Check. Number four, rat. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Correct. Cross. Number five, caught. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Correct. Check. Number six, loud. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Very good. Check. Number seven, mouth. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Very good. Check. Number eight, go. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Very good. Cross. Number nine, net. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Very good. Cross. And number 10, busy. Is this word irregularly spelled? Check or cross? Very good. Check. And next, for the learning task 4, fill out the blanks with the appropriate words. Choose the answers from the word bank below. Write your answers in your notebook. The words are beautiful, wait, this is, please, rough, ring. Number one, would you blank pass the dessert? What is the appropriate word for this? Very good. The appropriate word is please. Would you please pass the dessert? Number two, the blank spreads all over the town. What is the appropriate word for this? Very good. The appropriate word for this is disease. The disease spreads all over the town. Number three, you are the most blank girl I have ever seen. What is the appropriate word for this? Very good. The appropriate word for this is beautiful. You are the most beautiful girl I have ever seen. Number four. She needs to lose blank for health reasons. What is the appropriate word for this? Very good. The appropriate word for this is 
Weight. She needs to lose weight for health reasons. Number five. Wash the clothes, then blank them out thoroughly. What is the appropriate word for this? Very good. The appropriate word for this is ring. Wash the clothes, then ring them out thoroughly. Next, for the learning task 5, match the pictures in column A with their appropriate names in column B. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. Number 1. What is the appropriate word for this picture? Is it A. Anchor B. Wrinkle C. Night D. Knee or E. Sprout What is the correct answer? Correct! The appropriate word for number 1 picture is Letter D. Knee Number 2 what is the appropriate word for this picture? Correct! The appropriate word for this picture is Letter B, wrinkle Number 3 What is the appropriate word for this picture? Correct! The appropriate word for this picture is Letter E, sprout Number 4. What is the appropriate word for this picture? Correct! The appropriate word for this picture is letter A, anchor. And number 5. What is the appropriate word for this picture? Correct! The appropriate word for this picture is letter C, night. Next, for the learning task 6, choose at least 5 irregularly spelled words from the story. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. Let us read the story below. Lito's curiosity heightened when news about COVID-19 broke out. He has many questions about the things happening around. One day, when his mother was busy cleaning the house, he asked, Nanay, why do people wear masks when they go out? Her mother carefully explained the reason, so Lito would understand. When working on his module, he heard his older siblings arguing about online and offline learning. When he asked them about it, his siblings explained the difference between the two modes of learning. After attentively listening, Lito said with great O, Mine is offline. He also asked his father, Tatay, why can't I go outside and play or go to school and to the park like you and Nanay? Lito's father answered so he would understand the present situations. And now, let us choose at least 5 irregularly spelled words from the story and then write your answer in your notebook. The irregularly spelled words from this story are The first is Curiosity Second, Heightened Third, Busy Fourth, Explained And fifth, Listening And now, you can find your own irregularly spelled word from this story. And next, for the last activity, Learning Task 7, arrange the jumbled letters to form irregular words. Be guided by the meaning. Do this in your notebook. Number 1. A feeling of admiration for someone. Look at the jumbled letters below. Identify what word is this. Correct! This word is... Love. Number two, a small short wing brown songbird. Look at the jumbled letters below. What word is this? Correct. This word is wren. Number three, to hear with attention. 
Look at the jumbled letters below. What word is this? Correct! This word is listen. Number 4. Sound produced by forcing breath out or through a small hole between party closed lips. Look at the jumbled letters below. What word is this? Correct! This word is whistle. And number 5. A place where learners go to study. Look at the jumbled letters below. What word is this? Very good! This word is school. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Very good kids! Remember, irregular spelled words are words that contain letters that are not individually sounded or phonetically produced due to the combination of letter sound and other characteristics. Irregularly spelled words, these words do not follow the phonics or spelling rules. They are phonetically irregular. They also require correct and fluent reading for readers to easily identify them. Kids, have you learned a lot from this lesson? Very good! So again, the topic that we have discussed today is about irregularly spelled words. Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!